Rise up and pray. I am your host, Sister Vicky. I want to certainly welcome you to the Watch Out Podcast. I do believe that late in the midnight hour, God will certainly turn it around. If you please enter your pen, follow. Thank you. There is one other participant in the conference. Please announce yourself. Hello, 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 hello. I am Sister Vicky. I am um, fellowshipping with you tonight. Um, I want to thank you, thank each and every participant that's going to join the line tonight. And I also want to thank the listeners that's going to come across this audio over YouTube. I thank you and praise God for you. Um, Those of you that are not familiar with this line, we do start the night off with the word of God. Because we believe that the word of God will shield us and protect us in this midnight hour. So if you could turn to your Bibles, turn to Psalms 91. Amen. Psalms 91. And I'm going to be reading verse 1 through 16. So I'll be reading the entire Psalms 91. Amen. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the follower's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the pledge that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledged my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. That was Psalms, the entire Psalms 91 verse 1 through verse 16. Please, on your devotional time with God, you go back and you read it and see what God give you out of it. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to go ahead and get right into worship on tonight. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but I just thank God for being alive. I thank God for his covering being over my life. I thank God for helping me get through obstacles and helping me get through situations. Helping me overcome battles. I just thank God for that. That's why I rise up 12 o'clock midnight to worship God in spirit and in truth. I raise up 12 o'clock midnight to give God honor because honor is due unto our God. I thank God for everything that he has done in my life so far. I thank God for everything. All the good and the bad. Because believe it or not, the bad things had had pushed me closer to God. All of the difficult situations in my life have drawn me in to God's presence. 
And sometimes we 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 thank God for the good things, but we also had to thank God for the hard time because it's in the hard times, it's in the difficult moments, is when we find God. It's when things are not going right, it's not going as planned, it's when we have to operate in faith and then we have to uh, uh, draw closer to God like never before. We have to lean on God like never before. It's when those things are not going as planned. Because God said we, ne- God never said that we're going to live our this. Dis- live our days on being perfect he never said that we're not gonna have matter of fact he said that we're gonna have trials and he said in his word that we're gonna have tribulations but he said that he will never leave us nor forsake us so it's during the difficult times is when we need to draw closer to God drawing closer to God like never before Hallelujah. And one way to draw closer to God on tonight is to lay down our burdens. Lay down every weight. Lay down every stressful moment that has been overriding your mind. Lay it down at God's feet on tonight. Give Him what's due unto Him. Worship. Worship is not a melody. Worship is is pouring your heart out to God when you decide to give your burdens to God when you decide to give your issues to God when you decide to just say God I can't take this anymore you take complete control you handle it God when you can when you're able to say this that's worship When you reverence God's name and you give him glory despite of what's going on in your life. Despite of what's wrong and despite what's right. When you decide to just give God glory. And you decide to say, Lord, I thank you for being who you are. Thank you, God. For not taking your hands off of me. Thank you, God. When you can begin to worship God, then you will be at be. You will be able to see mountains move. Situations begin to work itself out. Joy will begin to overwhelm you. Peace will begin to come upon your mind that passes all understanding. When you begin to worship God. Worship draws us closer to God. Worship. Gets us in God's presence. And God, that's what we come to do tonight. To worship you. To lay down every situation that has been hindering us. That has been constantly replaying itself in our mind. God, we lay it down at your feet on tonight and we give you glory and we give you honor and we invite the Holy Spirit in right now Holy Spirit take complete control of our atmosphere oh Holy Spirit have your way on tonight Holy Spirit our helper in time of need our helper in times of trouble our helper in the midnight hour. I help her when we don't know what to pray. I help her. Come in and dwell with us on tonight. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father, like never before. Have your way in a new way, God, in our lives, God. So that your will shall be done, God. Here on earth as it is in heaven. Oh God we live according to your will. We worship according to your will. We pray according to your will. We speak according to your will. God we praying for your will to take effect right now. Right now Father God. 
Oh God, thank you. Thank you for moving in the atmosphere as we speak. Oh Father God, give me the words to say that's going to help your people. That's going to bring a change in the atmosphere. Oh God, have your way. These are your people. These are your people, God. And your people need to hear a word from you, God. Your people need to feel a touch from you, God. Your people need to feel your presence, God. Speak to hearts on tonight, God. Speak to hearts like never before, God. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. How about sitting in this shot Oh, God, we thank you on tonight. We thank you on tonight, Father. Oh, God, you is a magnificent God. You is an on time God. You is a way making God. Oh, God, you is the strong tower that we need, oh, God, and the righteousness run to when they're in need of help. You are our helper in a time of need. You are the solution to our problems. You are the problem solver. And we lay every negative thought down right now, Father. Every negative thought that come against your word, we lay it right now, we lay it down at your feet, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for this midnight hour, God. Satan will not have his way in our minds, in our bodies, and in our souls. You said by the name of Jesus, demons flee. Demons must flee when I speak Jesus. And I speak Jesus in this hour. I speak Jesus. His blood shall cover us. His blood shall shield us. His blood shall bring protection against every fairy darts of the enemy. Against every principalities of the air. We counsel every plot, every plan, every scheme of the enemy. And we lay it at your feet, Father. Oh God, thank you. Thank you for your shield. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for having your way, Father. And as we move forward... In, the, in this midnight hour God may lives be changed may hearts be renewed may minds be restored may peace come upon your people may your will take effect right now Father and we say thank you Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Again, I want to thank each and every listener that's going to come across this audio over YouTube. Thank you. For and, and I also want to thank the participants that may join us within this hour. I thank God for you for being a partaker. Amen. Um, tonight I want to talk to you all about drawing closer to God. Amen. And then after I give you uh, uh some input on that, then we're just gonna get right into prayer, and then we're gonna close it down for tonight. Amen. But I want to say this anytime. That we end this prayer, we end we end the night 
and prayer and we end and we close out for the rest of the night if you still have a worship in you even when you hang up the phone lines even when this audio stop continue to worship god continue to pray continue to stay right there in his presence because just because this audio will be over or you know doesn't does not mean that you have to stop worshiping when you still have a worship inside of you continue to seek god amen continue to seek god okay so i want to talk to you all tonight about drawing closer to god um Amen. Amen. Help me get my notes, y'all. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I want to talk to you about ways to to become closer to God because we're living in a day and time now where we have to draw closer to God like never before. And some of us don't know what to do to draw closer to God. And they don't know where to start. And so I'm going to give you some key points that can help you so that you can develop a relationship with God so you can draw close to him so that you can uh, uh, have a, a, a solid foundation with God first I would like to say accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior in order to draw closer to God, you must accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You must accept him into your life, accept him into your heart. Because nobody can get to God unless they go through Jesus. So in order to have a relationship with God, you must accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You must, you must accept him into your life wholeheartedly. You know, you... That's the only way that you can get to God. That's the only way that you can build a foundation. There's no other way around that other than to accept Jesus as your Savior. Amen. And when you do that, you make the best decision that you ever made in your life. Accepting Jesus is the best decision that I have ever made. It changed my life tremendously. I don't talk the way i used to talk i don't go to places i used to go i don't do the the thing the evil things that god dislike anymore you know i i became a new creature i became a new being in christ and i'm telling you when you accept jesus as your personal savior that is the foundation right there that's the foundation to uh, uh, um, to help develop a relationship with God, you know, because so many people, so many doctrines out nowadays, and they say, well, it's, you know, they they informing people that it's many ways. You don't have to seek Jesus to get to God, but you do. You do. I'm telling you that you do. The Bible telling you that you have that you that you have to accept Jesus. As your personal savior. Amen. Stay away from singing. That's the second point I want to give you on tonight. Stay away from singing. You know, when you become a born again Christian, when you become saved and when you become um, filled with God's glory, you cannot continue to practice sin. You can't purposely go out there and sin i'm not saying that you're not going to make mistakes i'm not saying you're not going to make wrong choices i'm not saying that because we're not perfect beings only person that's perfect is jesus christ but we are not to practice sin it's one is one thing to make a mistake but it's a whole nother thing to practice sin when people practice sin that means they meant to do whatever they are doing that is not pleasing in god's eyes and they don't have a repentant heart for doing those things and that's a dangerous place to be because god will with with draw himself from your presence when you're constantly living in sin the presence of god will you know god will always be there but his presence you will not feel because sin had became a part of you and one thing about it god don't want us to practice sin 
He don't want us to continue on doing the things that wrong him. He don't want us to be so involved in doing uh, uh, things that we know that isn't right. We have to turn from those things. That's how we. That's a. That's a way that we become closer to God when we turn from our wicked ways. When we turn from those things that's not pleasing to God, and we make that decision. God will draw closer to us. God will will become uh, um, um, how can I put this? God will become uh, uh, much. You know, God will become closer to us, and He will also His His presence. You will feel His presence a little bit more deeper. If if I shall say that, you will feel His presence a little bit more deeper when you're. You know, not living in sin. And God do not want us to practice sin. He don't want us to do that. Because that withdraw us from his presence. God hates sin. He hates it. And we don't want to do things that we know that God hates. We want to do things that we know that he will want us to do. God said obedience is better than sacrifice. Being obedient to his word. Doing what his word says. Is so much better. Amen. It's so much better. Amen. Praise God. And the third point that I have for you. Is stay in your word. Stay in the word of God. Don't. Don't withdraw from the word of God. That's. That's another another uh, uh key point when it comes down to um becoming closer to god you know one you know one way to become closer to god is staying in our word constantly reading the word of god quoting scriptures you know and and read our bibles daily amen and 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 really and not just read but study Study the word, study what, study, you know, scriptures and, and, and meditate on the scriptures and, 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 and so, so you can develop a foundation in God because that's one way God speaks to us is through his word. And when you read his word, you can hear what God is telling you. You can hear, you can be led and guided to what he wants you to do. Amen. And, 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 and that's how you can know how to live according to the, you know, according to God's standards. When you read his word, because his word would teach you and his word will inform you how to live righteous, how to overcome sin. His word will help you. Amen. And that's very important when it comes down to drawing closer to God is staying in the word. I tell people all the time, you don't have to read, you know, chapters, chapters, uh, uh, one after another each and every day. I mean, it's, it's a blessing if you do do that. <laughs> but, you know, at least take time out and read scriptures that stand out to you. You know, and um, allow God, you know, and don't be so quick to run through the Bible. You know, don't be so quick. Like, really listen to what you're reading. Listen. And, and really take it in what God is saying to your spirit. Really take it in. Because when you, you know, being a hearer of the word is, 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 a, is a key. Is the key to developing a foundation but being a doer of the word is what's gonna draw you closer to god amen being a doer of the word amen so god don't want us just to be hearers he wants us to be doers and and the only way we'll be able to do is if we if we really listen to what god is saying what god is telling us to do and that's how we can do his word when we when we really sit down and pay attention to what we are reading and not just babbling out words you know we just we really need to meditate on the word of god and what god is saying to our spirits and another way to draw closer to god is to seek after god strongly seek after god strongly meaning 
you know, don't forsake church. Don't forsake, you know, Christian gatherings. Don't forsake all those things that would draw you closer to God. Don't forsake, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, they get saved. You know, they get saved. They accept Jesus as their personal savior. And then that's it. They become lazy. You know, they feel like, well, that's it. You know, I don't have to do anything else. And God expects for us all to be witnesses. He's expect for all of us to be a partaker in the gospel. Amen. So, please, don't forsake, you know, Bible study. You know, don't forsake you know, your church gatherings. Don't forsake none of those things because that will help edify you. That will help draw you closer to God. And that also can prepare you, you know, being around other believers that can help you develop, you know, that can help you in your walk with Christ. Because to God said in his word, two is better than one. Two is better than one. When you got, when you fall and you, and you got somebody to help you and say, you know what, sister, get back up. You know what, brother? You know, we're going to pray about this thing. We're going to pray about this thing. You know what? You become stronger in your walk. But if it's just you and nobody else, who's going to be there to help you, you know, the, 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 the encourage you and, and to lift your spirits? You know, God meant for us to fellowship in some kind of way. You know, if that means, you know, you know, um, being a part of a prayer group, going to church, um, you know, getting with other believers and or, or going out doing outreach. God wants you to be active. He don't want you to be a lazy Christian. He don't want you to just sit back and do nothing. God wants you to be out there spreading the gospel and so that you can be the light that shine in this dark world so that you can draw other people in with your presence and what God has given you. And when you do that, you draw closer to God. You draw closer to God because you realize you're doing the things of God and you know and and and, and it it makes you and right standing with God and it actually you know it helped build it that also helped build a foundation um um in your relationship with God so please stay active in Christ stay active you know be a partaker of the gospel if you know I'm pretty sure we all have know some unsaved people you know tell somebody about Jesus if it's on your job you know tell somebody about Jesus God want us to be active amen he wants us to be active uh, another way to draw closer to God is to pray to pray daily God said pray without season, meaning pray without giving up. Pray no matter what the situation is. Pray because the devil is going to try to do everything that he can do to try to dampen your relationship with God. He's going to try to come in between you and God in every way possible. Sometimes he used people, sometimes he used places. And sometimes he used things to try to put a hedge between you and God. So you have to pray. You have to pray constantly. You have to pray when things are going good. And you have to pray when things are going bad. You have to constantly pray. And when things are not going so good in your life, that's the time that you draw. That's the time that you pray and you press in and pray like never before. Because that will help to draw you closer to God when you're praying through the hard times. Instead of complaining, instead of, you know, want to give up and give in. If you decide, okay, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray to God. And you really pray to God and give it to God. Then that will help draw you closer to God. Amen. That will help draw you closer to God. And I'm telling you, if you would do these steps, these these steps that I went over tonight, accept Jesus as your personal Savior, stay away from sin, and stay in your word, and seek after God wholeheartedly, and pray, 
you will draw closer to God. When you decide to do those things that I had went over tonight, you will begin to see the see God's presence more active in your life. You will begin to see God in a whole new way, a whole new way. And God will be will begin to deal with you and he will begin to 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 take you in a whole nother dimension in him. And he will begin to use you for his glory. See, God can, when we are separated from God, because sin separates us from God. When we're living in sin, and we're living in sin purposely, it, it, it draws us away from God. And God does not want that. He wants us to draw closer to him. He wants us to you know have a relationship with him he wants us to be in right standing with him god wants us to be close to him but when we live in sin and we choose sin over god then that right there will put a wedge between you and god and god doesn't want that for your life so please 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 draw closer to god in this season in your life because time is winding down and before we know it jesus christ is coming back for his for the church and the and it's not a church building but it's the church that lies within you it's the holy spirit that he's gonna come back for that church that foundation that's grounded in god is who jesus is gonna come back for so please please now is the time to really seek God and take God at his word, read his word, meditate on his word, get to learn who God is, read the word for yourself, then God will will show you his personality, God will show you his character, you know, it's one thing to, to listen to someone else talk about God, but it's a whole nother thing when you can read for yourself and God show you him, show you who he is from, you know, himself. He will show you himself who he is. And, you know, so you're not hearing from a third party. You're hearing from God himself. And that's what God wants to do in the lives of his people. Because the devil is trying to do everything that he can do to steal, kill, and destroy he is trying everything possible that he know how to do to put a uh, to to uh, um to to keep people from developing a relationship with God but God is more powerful God is on the throne only thing you have to do is seek God wholeheartedly seek him and he will come through for you he will draw you in into his presence. And he will help you live this life that he is call, calling you to live. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody online tonight that would like to add to these words of encouragement on tonight? Amen. If not, amen, we're going to go ahead and move it along. And we're going to go ahead and go into prayer on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to go ahead and go on to prayer on tonight. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to read um, two scriptures. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm going to be reading Matthew chapter 5 verse 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to read Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door i will come in to him and dine with him and he with me thank you father god hallelujah 
Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of life. Dear Father, I repent from every sin of whatever that I may have committed that is not making you draw near to me. God, be Lord over my life today. Have complete control of my life. God in heaven, my heart is yours. Take my heart for your own, Lord. Heavenly Father, keep me from sinning against you today. Jesus, let your will take over my life. Jesus, help me to abide in you and you in me. Holy Spirit, help me to obey and trust in you. Jesus, Jesus, open the eyes of my understanding to know you more as I seek you. Lord, I draw closer to you because you have promised to draw closer to me. Please, by your mighty power, hold me close to you. Oh, Lord, as my heart desires is to have a deeper walk with you. Help me to recognize you are my source of life. Heavenly Father, make me a woman of prayer and your word. Lord Jesus, help me to be found in you and known as yours. Let my life begin to receive transformation as I draw to you and help me to become like Christ. Make me like yourself and confirm me to the image of Christ. Lord, I praise you for you are my Lord and Redeemer. You are my everlasting joy and I rejoice every time that I am in your presence. Heavenly Father, I desire to be in your presence always to experience the refreshment that comes from your spirit. Lord, I want to enjoy the transformation that comes by being in your presence and experience life changing transformation. Jesus, show me the part of life that I need to work on. Show me. And I will follow you all the days of my life. Lord, as I spend time with you, may I never lose direction in life, but also follow your leading in all that I do. Lord Jesus, nourish my spirit from now to forever as I am in your presence. Heavenly Father, walk with me. Give me your wisdom and your knowledge. Lord Jesus, whatever sin that is separating you and me, by your blood, Jesus, cleanse me and wash me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, cut every demonic voice that is leading me into destruction in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, whatever that is making me lose my focus and drawing closer to you, take it away from me in the name of Jesus. Angels of the Most High, uproot and destroy anything taking me backwards and drawing closer to you in the name of Jesus. By fire, by force, I smash every dark of the devil and every controlling spirit and negativity in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, locate my foundation and burn to ashes whatever idol in my father's house pushing me not to draw to God in the name of Jesus. Father, begin to clear every darkness in my life that is not making people see your light as I draw closer to you in the name of Jesus. All, all round favors and abundance shall locate me right now as I do according to your will and purpose for my life. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare breakthrough i decree and declare a turnaround i decree and declare a foundation of love peace and joy 
Lord God, have your way. Have your way in me, through me, and upon me. And Father, I lay my burdens down. I give them to you, Father. Oh God, I thank you. And I pray this all in the Father and the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, we give it all to you, Lord. And we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I believe that if you have touched and agree with me doing prayer, I believe that God will do a transformation in your life. I believe by faith that God will begin to do something amazing in your life. And he will begin to draw you closer to him. And he will begin to show you who's for you and who's not for you. He be, he will begin to show you all of the things that you need to lay down. And the things that you need to pick up. God is going to lead and guide you from this moment forward. I believe by faith that God will be your leader and your guider from this moment forward. I want to say thank you for each and every one that has participated on tonight, that has joined in to listen in on this podcast. I also want to say thank you listeners that came across this audio over YouTube. I want to say I don't have any announcements other than Jesus is good. And please tell somebody about Christ because we're living in a time now where we have to spread the gospel like never before. And we have to be partakers. <laughs> we have to be partakers of what uh, uh, of of the gospel and and do the things and, and don't be afraid to be led by God to do the things that God is calling you to do. And we got unsaved family members. We got unsaved friends. We got unsaved coworkers. We got unsaved people around us and we cannot afford to, to keep the gospel to ourselves. So please continue to be the light that shines in this dark world and allow God to use you on a new level and allow him to draw closer to you as you draw closer to him. Amen. So with that being said, I want to say please have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Please enjoy your weekday and be blessed and and, and continue, continue to read your word. Continue to pray and continue to allow God to have his way in your life. And with that being said, God's willing, we back here again next weekend for another another move of God so please have a wonderful wonderful weekend and a marvelous weekday in Jesus name amen